What's the word? What's the word? You feel me? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Nick Nami. Look, you know what I'm saying? I gotta get my Nike down, you feel me? Back at it again with another reaction, you feel me? With my headphones. Before before we get started, yo, you know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and put the, put the headphones on before I go ahead and do this intro. Give me a second. Yes, sir. Now we good to go. Oh, yeah. Gotta look at the camera. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Nick Nami, a.k.a. Nami. Back at it again. We reacting to... So I think it's something scary. The roommate animated. I'm pretty sure it's something scary, you feel me? But, you know, your boy ain't easily scared, you feel me? Hey, 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 hey. Unless it's... What's that called? Paranormal Activity? I, I, yeah, yeah. I, I get scared of Paranormal Activity. I, I really can't talk because I don't really watch scary movies for a reason. By the way, I just want to tell y'all, on Wednesday, because I usually upload, like, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, that's, like, my consistency. What's the name? If I don't upload twice on uh, on Wednesday, it's my head hurt, you feel me? It's late at night, my head hurt. Shit, a nigga tired, you feel me? Nigga tired. But, you know what I'm saying? That still ain't no excuse. So, we'll see what Nami does, you feel me? But... <clears throat> Before we start this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and join the clan society. Ooh. I shouldn't even slap myself because I just got a new nose ring. So, I know y'all see the double trouble. You feel me? You dead. Oh. All right, but anyways. Let's get to it. You feel me? I am one weird individual. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. More details at the end. The roommate. Looking for a new roommate is always a daunting task. Even though you interview and take the time to get is that to a build shorty person, over there? you don't truly find out who they are until you start living with them. That is true. I had begun searching for a roommate after I decided to leave my current residency. I was Why would you search for a, a random roommate online? An ad on the Facebook Marketplace. The message read Stupid niggas. Hey, Chris. I'll be moving out of my current apartment this August, and I'm looking to room with someone new, as my roommates are moving to California this year. I'm 27, and I'm currently going to school. When I'm not at school, I enjoy hiking and watching movies. I also apprentice at a taxidermy shop on the days I don't have class. Hope that's not weird. It's always been a fun hobby of mine. Anyway, I'm looking forward to hearing back from you. Have a great day, Lunaire. My first and most obvious reaction after- He trying to smash! To check her profile. He trying to fuck! medium height. Had long, messy blonde hair and green eyes. In her profile picture, he was trying to smash her standing boy. with a man and a woman shoulder to shoulder. They each adorned goofy grins and held up peace signs. Under the photo, the caption read, Love my roommates. I smiled to myself and decided to send her a message back. Don't do it, bro. The sun beat down on the crazy girls be the worst, man. The Actually, now they be the best. But the weird ones be the, the, the weird crazy. I don't know. This, but as soon as I don't did, know. A wave of Cause I like crazy girls. Sweat drenched in sore bodies. After a couple more hours of rearranging, we each grabbed a beer from the fridge and sat on the porch. We reminisced about old 90s cartoons and what video games we obsessed over as kids. She sound wifey. She sound wifey. I truly felt relaxed and confident that things were going to work out. Mm -hmm. A week later, I started a new job for a construction company that was owned by a good friend of mine. Okay, cool. As I was new getting job, ready, job, I heard the bag, front door swing open. I walked into the living room to see Lunaire and her friend David sliding in a large box. What you got there? I asked. Through a strained grunt, she replied. I bought a freezer to store some of the animals I'm planning on using in my taxidermy work. I hope that's all right. I was obviously hesitant at first, as Do there was you? no mention of this happening in the Do first you? place, but I eventually accepted and returned to my room she to continue accepted. getting ready for work. Do you, shorty? Hey, I came man. home at around 9pm after having a couple of beers with friends and noticed that the freezer was nestled snugly in the lower part of the pantry. It ain't none of my business. Low hum I'm black. Heard reverberating I don't do the, the scary walls. shit. I was curious to see what was inside, but didn't want to intrude on Lunaire's business. So I went into my room and changed into more comfortable clothing. After changing, I came back out into the kitchen and started making a sandwich. Okay. I opened the fridge and grabbed what I needed. 
As I turned around, I stubbed my toe on the edge of the island countertop and let out a long, Ooh. exasperated grunt. Them be the worst. Through my frustration, I slammed the fridge door shut and checked my toe to see if there was any bleeding. Them be As the worst. But not by a shadowy figure. Lunaire was standing in the doorway leading to her room. The darkness behind her almost seemed to envelop her. Is everything okay? She said in a deadpan tone. Shit, yeah, I'm sorry. I just slammed my toe into the corner of the countertop as I was making a sandwich. I hope I didn't wake you. It's fine. She said. Why she staring like that, yo? Tone as before. You don't stare at me like she that unless you want to catch hands. Walked back into the dark. That's scary the right there, but you don't. You don't do that. You don't sneak up pissed. on me like that, yo. So I quietly made my sandwich and retreated back to my room as well. Ugh, PB and J. Hearing the low hum from the freezer as I. Yeah, I'm allergic to peanut butter, so I really can't talk about PB and J. I had the next day off, so I was able to sleep in a little longer than usual. When I finally emerged from my room, I walked into the kitchen to make breakfast. As I opened the refrigerator, I noticed that the light wasn't turning on and there was a lack of cold air escaping from inside. I she turned, turned around the and flipped the light switch to confirm my suspicion. Sure enough, the power was out. Ah, oh. damn it! I muttered under my breath. He, he forgot to pay the bill. I walked over to Lunaire's room and knocked on her door to tell That's her. That's what you gotta make sure we get a roommate to get that bill, room. boy. But there was no answer. I then remembered that she had classes that day and probably wasn't home. Okay, okay. I walked back to the kitchen and passed the pantry. As I did, I slipped on the floor but was able to catch myself on the countertop. What the? I angrily exclaimed as I looked down at the floor trying to figure out what I had slipped on. It was blood. It had started to leak from the corner of the freezer and pool onto the floor. Fuck. I quickly tried to open Dang. the freezer to find out the cause of the viscous liquid. Dang, nigga. But then I noticed that it had Fuck a padlock no. attached to it. Don't pick the lock. Don't before. pick the lock. We I don't do that. I ran my car and grabbed my toolbox from the back seat. Stupid! This is approached the freezer. This is why they die in the movies. This is why they die in the movies. I then pulled we don't out a do small that. pair of bolt cutters and snapped through the metal of the padlock. It fell. This ain't time to be Scooby Doo. Thud. I creaked open the top of the freezer and was nah, greeted bro. with a putrid stench that permeated my nostrils. I quickly pinched my nose and walked away, gagging in response. I guess I should have realized it's a that man. was happen. It's a I human? muttered to myself in between gags. After gaining my composure, I grabbed some gloves from under the sink and started taking inventory. I could see a couple of dead birds in plastic bags wedged into the corners of the freezer. I took each bag out and set them in the trash can nearby. That's when I noticed that the blood was coming from the corner of the larger black bag. I don't know why. But I decided to open the top of the bag and peer inside. I was greeted by large, milky white eyes, a swollen black tongue surrounded by cracked and bloated lips, and the matted hair of a human head. I swiftly dropped the bag and fell backwards onto the floor. My breathing had ceased to exist, and I grabbed the trash can next to me and expelled my disgust into it. Hey, when you see Lumiere, hit it with the oh, the car, boy, he better called the police. As I sat in the interrogation room with a blanket over my shoulders, I couldn't help but think about the face I'd seen. Was that her roommate? Here. Was that her roommate? That's when it finally hit me. I pulled out my phone and looked at Lunaire's profile picture. It was her old roommate. The one she said was moving to California. When the detective entered the room, she started the questioning process asking me if I started noticing any weird behavioral occurrences around the apartment. Yeah, I stubbed my toe the other day and she creepily stood in the doorway. It seemed like she was pissed, but for some reason I had a strange feeling like she was concerned about something. That's when I connected the dots. She didn't come out into the kitchen because she heard me stub my toe. She came out into the kitchen because she thought I slammed the freezer instead of the fridge. A cold sweat started to form on my forehead as my surroundings became blurred. I could hear a low whine slowly starting to cover up the words of concern from the detective. As my vision started to clear, I could see another officer enter the room and whisper something into her ear as he handed her a piece of paper. Do you have somewhere you could stay at? She asked. I mean... I was planning on staying with my parents. They live about 30 minutes outside of town. 
Okay. Oh. She paused. Listen, I don't want to worry you, but we found this picture inside of your apartment. She slid the piece of paper across the table. What's the picture? Immediately felt Some like nudes? someone kicked me in the chest. The head of Lunaire's other roommate sat on the chair. In the background, scrawled on the wall in blood, read, Love my roommates. Hey, nigga, we don't love you! Oh, no! Gotta close my mouth. I ain't for the catch no flies. Yo! See, time to. Time for Nami to put y'all up on game, right? <clears throat> Don't go out here being Scooby Doo. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Don't go out here, fam, being, being fucking Indiana Jones. You know what I'm saying? Fucking going to the fucking, uh. Fucking spots where you're not supposed to be. You feel me? Uh, nope. I, I, hey, I'm good. But then. I guess it's a blessing in disguise that he did find out because then she would have cut off his shit too. Shit is fucked. What the? First off, fam, that's why you don't find no random ass roommate off of anywhere, bro. You roommate with somebody that you know, you feel me? You dig? And then, fam, first, then you hit her with the, you hit her with the two piece and a biscuit, you know what I'm saying? A four piece and a drink. You know what I'm saying? They got a two liter to be exact, you dig? Because we ain't doing that, fam. Fam. We don't do that scary shit. We just don't, bro. We just, we just don't, bro. I guess, I mean, I wasn't really scared. It was just like, I don't know. It's like, why the fuck did you do that? But any guys, that is it for the video. If y'all enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and join the society, you feel me? Tell your grandma. Tell that ex that did you dirty. Tell that female that told you no. Actually, don't do that. Don't text that. Hey, hey don't text them hoes at all. I ain't talking about your grandma, though. I'm talking about, you know. You know what I'm saying? Just tell anybody, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? Your boy's also making memes, so follow me on Instagram. I'm finna start posting more pictures too while I'm doing this YouTube shit. And I'm finna figure out a Twitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna figure out a Twitch. But shit, until next time, it's your boy Nami. Doses. Yeah, dicks.